Welcome to another episode of Minecraft Tips, Tricks and Tutorials. Here's what we have planned for today's exciting episode. So don't move a muscle, unless of course you plan to hit that like button, in which case, go right ahead. If you've ever had issues with uh, farming animals, you know how painful it can be trying to keep the animals uh, from running through the gate the moment you open it. You usually have to set up a double gate and it just becomes a painful process. So today we're going to take advantage of some unique differences between nether and overworld physics and we're going to construct an awesome fence that allows players through but not the animals. There'll be no more need for gates after today. So let's get this set up. So let's just travel down here to our uh, farm and let's see here okay so if you see down here in our farm we've got all our different animals we have horses we have pigs we have llamas we have cattle we have sheep we have chickens we have all our different types of animals so in order for this to work we are going to need to go to the nether so let's just hop into our nether portal here get our diamond pickaxe and here we are in the nether and what we want to do is just gather some common netherrack but first we need to make sure that we are in survival mode set that up real quick all right let's grab some netherrack And 50 pieces should do it. Go back to the overworld. And in our overworld we have five furnaces stacked. Let's just quickly drop in 10 pieces per furnace. Get 10 in there. Split this one. Uh, half stack there. Grab 10 there. There and grab ten there, and now we just wait for the nether rack to convert into uh, bake into nether brick. Okay, now let's grab our nether brick pieces. From the furnaces, and 10 from this one, and 10 from that one, and our final 10 stack here. And then we go to our crafting table, and we take the nether brick to create nether block, so convert as much as we can into nether block, and then the nether block can be used to create a nether brick fence. So convert that, and now we have nether brick fence. Let's just get rid of this. Ugh. All right. And now what we want to do is we want to take our nether brick fence, and we want to set that as the active item when we mine, uh, mining out our normal fence. And what you want to do is you want to mine out every second uh, piece of normal fence and replace it with a nether brick fence. So we'll start right here and mine that out and put another brick fence there and then this one and hey get back in there another brick fence there and this one another brick fence there and that one another and as you can see uh, the animals cannot get through the fence and if we change over to creative real quick and grab some wheat let's get some wheat so that we can attract uh, the sheep and the cattle and let's see here sheepy sheepy all right see they're all trying to get in here trying to get through 
but they cannot. They cannot get through the fence. But me as a player, on the other hand, I can walk right through the fence, no problem. But the mobs cannot. So that, walking through and walking back. Hope you enjoyed that MT3 quick tip. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Thank you and bye-bye.